All right, what's going on, dudes? And welcome back to Hexagons. I mean, Hexadecimal. No, I mean Hexit. I'm just kidding. I know the name of the mod pack. Or do I? Mm -hmm. I don't actually, I don't know what that was, but that's going to be the start of our video. So, hey, welcome back. We're on Jerry's Tree. I made it back from the mine. And as I was surfacing, I managed to collect a few more diamonds as well as a, a few more coppers and stuff and things, which I still don't know what we do with that. Actually, as a matter of fact, let me look up copper and see what can be a lot of stuff can be made with it. Okay, so we can get like copper uh, weapons and tools and I would assume in that case we could get like tin weapons and tools. No, not to the same sort of extent. Actually, let's see. Tin ore and let's see what is the difference between the gravel and the nothing. Okay, there's no difference between the uh, output of the gravel tin ore and the regular tin ore when you smelt it. I guess I could smelt those at the moment. Do I want to? Do I want to smelt them? I guess, like, is there anything else that we can use the, um, the ores for? I don't think there is, so we may as well, I suppose. We'll smelt our iron and yeah, we'll just, we'll smelt all of this stuff. We got four furnaces, so we can do that. And uh, actually, we'll only do three though, because that way we aren't wasting too much. And all right, as you'll notice, I made some torches with some of the coal that we were able to get. Uh, so yeah, cool beans, cool, super, super cool beans. And I'll throw this in once that's done. Anyway, also as it was surfacing, you may notice I have something in my ninth inventory slot that I can't access with my hotkey because I need to switch my mouse. There we go. Um, it's called the Chocopedia, and I got it when I killed a skeleton, I think it was. It was either a skeleton or a zombie. Um, and I didn't want to read it yet because I want to maintain the suspense, so we read it on video. So this is the Chocopedia by Torojima. And the table of contents, one, Chocobos. Two in the wild, three guys saw, we have, we have some of these. I put, I put, I arranged them in my inventory, by the way, and, and put some stuff in different chests and whatnot. Anyway, we have some of the guys saw greens, and I don't know what they're used for, so this might clarify. Anyway, um, guys saw mutations, guys saw pickles, domestication, is this about a pet? Uh, breeding, choco, okay, so the chocobo must be a pet, and the nether, chocobo, Pen, Chocobo, this is 24 pages long, oh my god. Okay, Chocobos, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. These large herbivorous birds are largely unable to fly, but their powerful legs allow them to run at high speeds. Their size and impressive speed make them a popular choice when looking for a mount. Um, oh my god, this is too much to read <laughs> uh, on video. Okay, so I'm gonna synopsisify it. Uh, they are found in the wild, they are yellow, and the guy saw greens, the, they like them. The chocobos like guy saw greens. Um, and they can be farmed. And I don't know how they can be farmed. Uh, guy saw mutations. You can mutate the plants. Domestication. This is what I want to know. Okay, so I can tame a chocobo by feeding them guy saw greens. Oh, simple enough. Okay. If tamed, then I can put a saddle on it. And I can also put pack bags on. That's cool. Okay. Uh, all right. Cool. And then all about this breeding and stuff, we can focus on that once we have one. So we'll put some of these in our inventory. And that way, if we find a chocobo, we'll have this handy. Then we can tame a chocobo. And we, yes. Okay. Uh, let me throw you in there. We can smelt you. Let me grab that. And let me grab you. And okay. We'll throw those back into there and stuff. All right, cool. By the way, I was told I should make a backpack, which I think is made of le leather. Hold on. Oh my goodness, there are a lot of backpacks. <laughs> okay, how do I make you? Um, that's simple enough. Is it, uh, what is, there are different types of back, oh my God, there are different types of backpacks. How do I make, I can't make you, um, how do I make a big backpack? Ooh, tanned leather. I kind of want to make it, how do I make tanned leather? How do I make tanned leather? I smelt bound leather. How do I make bound leather like that? Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Lots and lots of workbench backpack. Ooh. Ooh. This could be cool. Should I do that maybe? Although I don't enter back. God, I don't know if these are all, f these must be like, this model is different. So it must be from like a different mod. Um, 
Do we have anything that we can use for dye at the moment? So I can make a backpack? Um, unless, does it just allow me to, uh, let's, let's see. Can I just go like this? And, oh, okay, just makes me a backpack. And then I could have colored it, but, all right, let's see. What does this do? Um, oh, it's like a, is it like a portable chest that I can just, okay, fancy that. That's very helpful. Thank you very much. Um, if I have it in, I guess I have to have it in my hot bar. All right, cool. So now we have extra inventory and we can even carry around multiple backpacks. Oh man, can we carry around multiple back? I might need to do this. How much? Okay, I have enough. I, I need to make it a different color though. Um, oh man, we're going to have like infinite inventory. It's going to be amazing. Uh, and then I should rename my backpacks too. Where, where can I? I need something to dye. I need something to dye. Dye is in the color dye, not as in like dye, you know. Dye. Um, okay, can I get any flowers around here? Any flowers that can be turned into... Okay, so my goal is to find a flower. Actually, we can head back over towards the village. I have the coordinates, so I'm going to fetch those really quickly and we'll input it into... Command block number one over here. Well, it's actually going to take me to the entrance of the mine. Um, let me see really quickly. And that would be slash TP. Oh, I need to go into creative. Duh. Um, let me do that really quickly and go into here. Boom. All right. And there we go. Done. All right. Cool, cool. And back to recipe. Okay. That should sort it out, and now if I click this button, um, actually I should have given myself another command block as well, I did not mean to do that. Uh, yeah, I'll just give it to myself once I'm there, and then we can create the TP back home. Okay, here we are. Hello, Mr. Gundy Horse, you're still here, and I really want to know how to tame you because that would be kind of nice and helpful. Um, anyway, let's go back into here, give myself a, uh, hold on. Command block, boom, all right, cool. Put you down like right uh, here and we'll put the button on the tree, which I will actually make right here, I guess. And uh, yeah, okay, here we go. Button, boom, and place you down right there. And let's see, um, let me get the uh, actually, I have to go into creative. I need to streamline this process again. Okay, there we go. And get the coordinates. Here we go. Put them in. Come on. There we go. Done. Woo! Okay, let's see if this worked. And boom. There we go. Fantastic. Now we can head right back. And we'll check out the village. That's what I was meaning to do, actually. So the village is right over there, I think. And now let's swap on back. And we should be good to go. All right, quite the process, but we're good. Here we go. Um, so let's check, yeah, on the, oh yeah, our map tells us exactly where the village is. Am I heading in the right direction? Oh, it's over here, okay. Okay, let's, I wonder if there's gonna be any new features to the village, um, given all the Hexit mods. I guess we're gonna find out in just a couple seconds here. Okay, here we go. All right, does anyone, ah, oh, we can get some food, obviously. Uh, that might not be a bad idea, actually. Allow me, allow me to loot all of your crops. I'm so sorry. Okay, carrots, and carrots, and more carrots, and more carrots. Oh, so many, sorry dudes. I know you're just like bummed that I'm taking your carrots. I wonder if one of you will have a carrot trade and it will be very ironic. Um, p potato, potatoes, potato, potatoes. Um, Corrado, Corrado's, and I'm just going to take all of your food. There we go. Fancy that. All right, let's check out some of your trades, actually. Any good stuff? Emerald. Um, actually, I think, so people were telling me that I can, like, use my, uh, oh, by the way, I cooked the remaining food that we had. If I right-click, oh, it turns into, yes, so people were right. Uh, so if I right-click with the emeralds, it turns into emerald shards, and then I need a yeah, an emerald piece, and then I need to, it's like eight of those go into an emerald so I can make emeralds by killing mobs. Anyway, they're all looking at me very weirdly. Only two redstone for an emerald. Okay. Wow, you guys have some stingy freaking trades. Okay, but we could get uh, the... 
They're competing. They're competing with each other. <laughs> one of them wants my business more than the other one does. See, he's only given me 10 arrows for an emerald. This guy, however, he's like, good deals. We got some good deals over here. I'm going to give you 11. I'm, I'm bargaining one up. You know, you can, you can try to one up him by bringing it to 12, and I might do business with you. You're nodding, but he's nodding too. He might up it too. Um, okay, and you're just having some stingy freaking deals, and we are not in the mood for this. Yeah, I, I know. I can, I can sense it from you guys too. You're not in the mood for the rain either. This dude over here, though, is just... Um, do you, do you, do you see what this guy is trying to do? I can give him 10 gravel and an emerald and he'll return four flint. So basically what he's doing here is he's taking my gravel. He's going to go place it down and mine it and get a few flints in return. And then he's going to charge me one emerald for the labor of him doing that. <laughs> so his... His act of, of the laborious process of converting the gravel into flint, that costs one emerald. So this guy is trying to charge for his work rather than just like... Re oh my god, there are even more horses over here. Can I just put a saddle on you maybe? That'd be... I don't know. Okay, we're gonna find out. Um, we are gonna foot find out. Actually, I want to kind of... I want to make it into the, the floating hermit guy's place. Okay, here we go. And... Um, allow me to work my way up to your front door. <laughs> All right, how's it going? Do you have a good deal? Uh, 20 wheat for one emerald. God, you guys don't want to give emeralds for stuff. You just want to, or you, you only want to give emeralds. Um, you don't want to accept emeralds for, like, good trades in return. Whatever, whatever. All right, let's check out some of the bigger houses, and hopefully we can get some loot. Um, is there a blacksmith's house? So over here... Guys, why did you try to build half of your village in the water? It's probably not, like, the best strategy. Okay, you only give me three bread for an emerald. And this guy only gives me nine arrows for an emerald. Jeez. So we got a nine, we have a ten, and we have an eleven. All right, whatever. Um, here we go. Hi. Do you... Good job. And this guy, is that the twelve guy? Or is that a new, a new guy who's... Oh, my God, there's a, there's a nine, ten, eleven, and a twelve. They are all competing with me for the sake... Of acquiring my emeralds. The competition is tremendous. Alright, I can see that you're having issues here, so I'm going to help you out. And in return, I'm hoping you'll give me a good deal. Good deals? Okay, here we go. Sir. Oh, this is a special one. Here we go. <gasps> what? Oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh, he has the stuff for me. What a great guy. I'm going to steal everything from you. Hold on. So I don't know what Nessence Crystal is, but... <gasps> oh, it's your boy. And he has a piston, too. Sorry, I'm stealing all your stuff, but it's happening. <laughs> I'm going to take all your stuff, and then I'm going to put it in my backpack, and this will be my super-duper backpack. All right, here we go. Throw the stuff into the backpack. Oh, man. Sorry, dude, but thanks. I appreciate it. Um, and then I'll take all your stuff here, too. <laughs> I am such a nice guy, taking all your stuff off your hands for you. What would you do with all this anyway? All right. We may have to defend the village, too, when it becomes nighttime, because these guys are kind of important, it seems. Or at least this guy is. This guy in his super magical house. I'm going to leave you here, because you're a pretty cool dude. You don't have any more trades at the moment. Let's see. Um, oh, that's just the... Okay. It doesn't really matter. All right. Floating village. This place is turning out to be a, a pretty fruitful, lootful place. Uh, maybe I should check out the... Actually, I have not gone here yet. This could be another another good good place to go. Do we have any more uh, magician dudes who are going to help us on our quest here? Um, any chests? Are you going to compete? Okay, you want lots of chicken, you want lots of wheat. One guy... Hey, another one of your buddies is charging only uh, only 20 wheat for an emerald, and you're charging 21. I'm telling you, you're not going to get too many sales here. A little bit of economics 101. Competition drives prices down. Okay. Um, anything? I don't think there's anything in there. All right, let's try to make it in into here and see if we can get a trade with... That is a... We got a stalactite in there, a stalagmite. I always forget if stalag... What is it? So it seems like just once in every recording session, uh, my game crashes. So that was that was the inevitable crash right there. Anyway, 
as I was saying, I always forget whether or not stalagmite is up or down and stalactite the, the reverse. I never know which is which. Um, but I do know that I'm going to see if you have a trust in here. Man, they're not being very generous with their stuff. I guess I just sort of lucked out on all the loot in that, uh, in that one house. Um, let's see. And now I'm not getting any sound. Darn you, exit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to fix this really quickly, and we will be right back. And we're back, this time, with sound. Yay. Okay. So anyway, now that we've gotten all the, hopefully, the technical difficulties out of the way for the remainder of my recording, let's get some more wheat. Thank you, villagers, for doing all this work here. It's much appreciated. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, take it all because I want some food. And then I will bake all of your potatoes and I will goldenify all of your carrots. And I don't really know if I will goldenify all of your carrots considering I don't really have any gold, but I could eventually if I wanted to. Actually, I need to go and uh, harvest that a uh, little bit. A little bit of wheat in there as well. Oh man, I'm gonna have so much food. This is amazing. Thank you so much, villagers, for your sacrifice. I do appreciate it very much so. Okay, cool. And uh, then we could actually start our own garden if we wanted to, I guess. And it's like by the time I'm done harvesting uh, over here, then more stuff is gonna have grown the other planters and it's just gonna be this like back and forth process. So I'll probably just address each planter only once, otherwise I will be going back and forth for the rest of my days. <laughs> All right, here we go. And I will not trample your crops, so I will at least do you the honor of leaving those be. All right, cool. And cool, cool. And I'm even gonna leave some stuff left over so you guys can harvest it if you want to. You know, I'll leave the, uh, I'll leave the ungrown stuff so that you still have the ability to get more seeds in the future, you know. Okay, cool. That is actually a pretty substantial amount of food. So we should be able to survive off that for quite a while. And uh, for now, I think that's all that this village has to offer until we are able to trade with the magic dude, the magi man. <laughs> and more potatoes to harvest. More carrots, as I was saying, as soon as I go back. Um, oh, here's a new planter, though. Let's do that one. Um, here we go. Didn't mean to do that. I'm really good at jumping. <laughs> it's about to be nighttime, though, so we may want to start. There are so many horses, though. It's crazy. So many Gumby horses to go around. These guys aren't moving, either, so whenever I figure out... I guess I should maybe try to make a saddle. Is there a way to make a saddle in this, or do I have to find it in a dungeon still hold on um am i all out of no i'm not all out of inventory space hold on just a second or are there special saddles let me see um saddle oh special oh chocobo saddle how do you make that um it's made with a chocobo do i have to kill a chocobo in order to make the initial saddle and then yeah um okay so wait oh huh wait a oh there are two ways to make it um, but in order to get a saddle, we're going to have to find it in a dungeon. All right. Well, in that case, um, I guess our next quest should potentially be to try to find a dungeon. Why not? Hopefully there aren't too many zombies around here. I should unload these chunks so that our villagers stay all right. Because I don't want them to be getting killed. That would be not a good idea. And maybe the magic guy will protect everyone. I don't know. But uh, for the moment... Maybe if we head back into the mine, then we will be able to find a dungeon of sorts. Um, I could actually go and make, like, a, let's see. Oh, hello, everybody. How's it going? Hoot, kaboom. And there we go. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, by the way, those hearts are freaking awesome. And there's a new, uh, new texture for experience, I think. All right, I'm going to try to not lose my way, try to sort of figure out what's up. Um, I will put some torches down this time around as well, and uh, hopefully that'll sort of help us keep track of where we've been. I guess I'll put them on the left side as we're going down, and I will totally not follow that rule for uh, <laughs> while I keep going down here probably, but you know, 
do what I can. Especially when we get to junctions like this, it's kind of difficult to keep track of what exactly is the left side. Um, but yeah. Let's see. Oh, do those things slow you down? Oh, they do. What do you know? All right. Anyway, um, let's see. Trying to let's see if we can find some more diamonds. That'll be priority number one. Um, hmm. That dude. There was an armored dude down there. Maybe there will be some diamonds down here. I don't know. I don't think we've been here yet. Obviously, it'd be helpful if I had torches last time around because then I could like sort of mark off where I've been. But hello, Mister. Super duper dude. Um, how are we doing back here? Oh, diamonds! Thank you so much! Alright, um, let me try to block the lava. Okay, go away lava. You're good. You can dissipate. Just, uh, yeah, you know, you know, kind of, kind of just go away. You know, it'd be nice. Can you just, can you just dissipate? Yeah? Or am I going to have to put blocks on you? Okay, I guess I'm going to have to put blocks on you. Well, put a torch down there, and... Fair enough. I'll just mine these up after I get rid of all of that. Okay, there we go. Cool, cool. I am going to need a new pickaxe soon, though. So maybe I should... I should have made a workbench backpack, too. I need to find some more cows. That way I can make a... Um, oh, actually, no, I, I still have that. Um... I should make a workbench backpack though, because that'll be super helpful. I think that way we don't have to like keep putting down a workbench or something like that. Uh, anyway, diamonds, diamonds, lots and lots of diamonds. We're gonna be able to start putting some armor together soon enough here, because we have nine back home, and that is another six, so that will be a solid fifteen. And how many do we need for full sets? We have the chest plate, which means we need five for the head, um, seven, five, seven, twelve. Uh, six, we need 16 more for a full set of armor, and then three more for another. So 19 more diamonds should be, um, or actually no, uh, four more diamonds is our goal. So yeah, after four more diamonds, we should have a diamond pickaxe, and we'll have full diamond armor. And then uh, maybe we'll try out one of the battle tower things. Mm-hmm, perhaps, perhaps. So I should actually uh, look around, I guess. You can look around, try not to wander off too far. And then maybe uh, find some more diamonds, and then we'll be able to, provided it's four of them, uh, we'll be able to sort of, you know, make all our diamond necessities uh, for the moment until they wear out. Okay, I don't want to, like, wander too far here, but yeah, a little dangerous, a little, a little bit dangerous. How are we doing here? Um, be cool if there was a chest I could get, maybe. Let's see. Is there a chest right here? No. Is there a not dead end over here, perhaps? Let's see. Um, okay, I'm gonna start wandering off and probably getting lost here. So there's that. Actually, am I gonna just, nope, I just looped right around, so that's good. Um, hmm, I think that's some more aluminium. And I don't quite know where I am at the moment. <laughs> But at least I have plenty of food to go around. Um, ooh, how are you doing? Okay, you're trying to shoot me. You're stuck in a cop. Ow, you're shooting me. All right, I'm going to go elsewhere. I don't particularly fancy skeletons. Get rid of that. Um, let's see. I could also start working towards a, a big backpack because that might be nice too. And I think we've been down here, right? We've been down here before. All I need, yeah, we've been down here. Um, all I need is some diamonds. That would be helpful. What if I went on down here some more? This is where we were at last time, I think, actually. Keep putting down torches. Yeah, this is where we went to. Um, this is the extent of it. And, uh, hello. Are you Gary? I don't think you're Gary, but you are a bat, nonetheless. And I do like me some bats. Um, more fancy bushes, too. Come on, diamonds! That's all I want. All I want are some diamonds. It'd be very, very helpful if I could find them. Uh, no? No? All right, I'm just going to keep going down to the depths of things and dead end. All right, there's got to be some diamonds around here. I could strip mine, but why would I do that when diamonds are so common and hex it? All I need are four more. There's got to be some around here. It can't be that difficult. Hey buddy, how you doing? Um, 
No. Okay. Uh, die oh, no. Ha ah, ha ha. I could have taken a, a <laughs> that turn instead of the other one. Three, four. Yes. Okay. We are, that's five. All right. We are over budget on diamonds. Well, you can never be over budget, but you know, we have as many as we need. So, hey, there's a chest too. All right. I'm moving really slowly. Oh man, over to the chest. There might be some diamonds in there. Oh man, I'm making it over and no diamonds. Okay. But there are other things and to knock the chest loose. Um, I could harvest this because I could use a minecart. Yeah, why not? All right, and we're full. So let's open up our backpack and throw some almost full in our backpack too. Ay, yay, yay. All right, anyway, I guess we're good there. It's time to work our way out and then we'll head back to Jerry's tree and we can fully make our armor. Okay, now the challenge. Obviously I could put a command block down here, but I kind of am interested in the challenge of finding our way out. This is gonna be interesting. All right. Hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult. We can just follow the uh, torches back up. You are not gonna stand in our way, sir. There you go. Um, came from this direction over here, and I think just keep working our way up like so. And all we have to do is, oops, up, up and away. I think it's just up here. Yeah. And are we gonna make it out? This easily, I think so. Cool. All right, and only a creeper will remain in our way between us and the exit, and he no longer skeletons too. Anyway, all right, you're done. You're done. You're done. Cool. Back out again, and off to Jerry's tree. Here we go. Man, you guys are so weird. I don't really want to kill you because I don't think the I haven't even tried eating the scrap meat yet. I'm only guessing that it's a consumable. Um, but anyway, let's grab the remainder of our diamonds and we'll make what we're gonna actually a lot of people were telling me that I should make something called a like literally everyone was saying make a broadsword or long sword. So let's see. Uh diamond diamond long where are you? Um, how do I make these, by the way? Apparently they are not makeable normally. It must be the, uh, the crafting, uh, crazy, the Tinker's Construct mod. Uh, no? Diamond? Hold on. What can I make with diamond? Diamond. Um, diamond giant? Oh, diamond giant sword. Maybe that's what they were, uh, saying that I should make. Does that do a lot, though? Because I, that's a lot of diamond to use. Let's see, diamond glaive. Um, I guess I could make a fancy diamond, oh, a diamond big sword. Should I, I could do that, a diamond, actually, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end, like, right here, and then you guys can tell me what diamond weapon is the best that I can make with, out of, out of these ones here, like the diamond scythe, glaive, yada, yada, yada. You can let me know, but for the moment, let me uh, actually make a diamond pickaxe. I should probably do that, and I actually don't have any sticks on me, so I will do that and have nowhere to place it. <laughs> okay, so diamond pickaxe. There we go. Have nowhere to put that as well. I need to throw some stuff into places. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah. So let me know what weapon I should make, and then next time I will totally make it for real. It'll be great. All right. <laughs> See you later.